other than Miss Cashy. Good morning. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Um, you know, it's great to see you after how long? Last time was Mikasa. 2016. Mikasa. Yeah. Late. 2016. November. A couple of years, yeah. Yes. And I remember, Three years straight. I remember when that song came out, one of... I had to listen over and over to it, then now listen to your flow, because I was just happy that we had like a female rapper. I was just like, <laughs> Thank yes, you. represent for us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm really happy that you're back to music, and of course, we're going to be jumping into your new song in the next 10 minutes. But, um, so let's start this from the very beginning. Okay. Mikasa Sukasa, at mm-hmm. the time you were dating Calligraph. Yeah. Was that your first introduction into music? No, mm. I actually was doing music for a long time. Yeah. Before that, since 2012. Yeah. Since straight after high school. Mm-hmm. So we just met up somewhere in between. He was doing music, I was doing music, and then, you know, yeah. just flowed with it. Yeah. But it wasn't the first time. It wasn't my first um, record. It wasn't yeah. my first. It wasn't the first time I was being recognized. Mm-hmm. Just It was just a bigger platform. Like, more people, you got yeah. to hear my name, you know, yeah. on it. So. Yeah, it was cool. It was dope. Yeah, and I remember that song got a lot of love, both yeah. in Kenya but outside. Yeah. It was so hectic. It was mad. Yeah. Um, and then there was silence, and then um, we heard that the two of you had broken up. Mm-hmm. So what exactly, when did the breakdown happen? Was it immediately after Mikasa, Sukasa, or? Mm, uh, the, well, the breakup. Yeah. It happened uh, sometime in 2017. Yeah. Yeah, t- sometime in 2017, yeah. Okay. And I do know that afterwards he didn't want to speak about it, but <laughs> he was like, I'll never introduce another woman to the limelight. Oh, yeah, 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 there was the whole um, bitterness. <laughs> yeah. Whole but what was the reason? What was what led to the breakup? I simply left. Okay. It, because it wasn't, um, wasn't a suitable environment. It wasn't a sustainable model. It just wasn't right. It yeah. Got, a lo- it got really messy mm-hmm. so and you know you just sometimes you have to protect yourself because yeah. you can't put your you can't let yourself be in a place where you're constantly going through something yeah constantly um unhappy and it doesn't matter who you're with doesn't matter if you're with a superstar or, or like just a, a just random a su- person yeah, yeah. yeah it doesn't matter you know you're your stability comes first, mental, physical, you know, emotional. You yeah. have to be grounded. You have to be good within yourself, yeah? So that was the best decision for me at the time. Did, do you, would you say it was a toxic relationship? relationship? Definitely. Mm. Definitely. How so? How did the toxicity manifest? Because I know in, in different relationships, mm-hmm. it, it manifests as emotional abuse, mm-hmm. you know, infidelity and yeah. how how did it manifest for you in always yeah in always yeah so uh but you know once you care about a person mm-hmm. once you care about them when you're on the inside it's very difficult to see you make excuses for them in your head yeah you see something you see a sign a red flag but you're just like mm, maybe so it's a mistake ah, this, you yeah know, okay maybe i understand you know pressure you know, yeah you yeah, just yeah. make a lot of excuses for the other person in your head and to everyone else because it might be obvious to you it might be obvious to you but to me yeah like like you know you can't tell me at cash why you being treated like this mm-hmm. cash why you being talked to like this people cash, get this people get blended in relationships. Yeah, yeah 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 and yeah. you want to see the best in someone yeah, yes. it's totally it's understandable so, so yeah. true yeah mm-hmm. what was the last um it's true straw because even when you hear people and even just personally being most people have gone through toxic relationships right yeah. but there's always this lustre that just wakes you up and you're like hey i've oh, got to get out of here yeah like ooh. yeah what was the last straw for uh, you what happened what was the last straw for me when um i'd, I'd say when i started getting threats from other women because my boss is you know, just like threats. Yeah, yeah, you know, women can be really <laughs> sometimes, you know. Yeah. Every some, let me just say, some women will chase the hype and the mm, name and the mm. he's a celeb, so I want to roll with him. I want people to know that I roll with him. Like, and on this other end, someone might be 
digging that vibe. Yeah, yeah. like I have mommy come. Yeah, yeah, yes. encouraging that and you know actually actualizing it. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, entertaining and, it. Yeah, entertaining mm-hmm. it. And um, so when it got to a point where I'm getting messages from women, I'm getting pictures of them together me and everything so i was like eh, 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 eh. you know what pictures I'm, when you say I'm, pictures you mean like uh, in a gig or in compromising yeah, no, no. like compromising yes, pictures compromising pictures oh, okay and um you know since it, it had been years yeah in a certain relationship you know you try to fight for it yeah and you try to be like let's talk about it why is this happening who is this and but then when it got to that point i was just like you know what i am too young for this okay, like up, i don't need to be dealing with these things at before this point. 2017 yeah. you guys are dated for how long uh before 2017 before the breakup uh how long before me cancer before even you introduced oh, to wow. us wow uh, i yes like at this point i even stopped counting yeah wow. i don't but it, it was a long time okay, it was cool. a long time but yes. you know also as m- when you grow in the industry and you get more recognition more people like ex- especially more women will be naja yeah. Yes. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Groupies Groupies and, stuff, yeah. and everything mm-hmm. and some people get excited by that you lose your grounding you lose who you are you lose the people next to you you, you lose yeah. focus of the people it's happened to very many with. yeah, yeah. It's happened to the best we've of us. had yeah. we've had of these situations but we always hope see where we mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. like you won't be that guy who will also be you know but mm, now, it is what it is they, there were some um insta stories Mm-hmm. of yours that basically have gone viral okay. where there was um mm-hmm. you talked about abuse or and the t- when when you will finally open up and talk about mm-hmm. in this relationship with calligraph was there violence there was violence but um i won't discuss that right now mm-hmm. yeah but yeah it was a thing that was there and it's very sad because many women we're always like if it happens to me i am mm-hmm. out mm-hmm. and if it happens to a friend of mine i am taking them out of that yeah it happens to my sister you know what we're taking this to the cops yeah if it you know we're just taking each other out of that but when it happens to you and this is a person you've known for so long and then that they they also come with that vibe yeah i won't do it again like this is something that that's been in my family but i didn't want to go that route please forgive me yeah and you also have that emotional attachment you tend to you know yeah and you mustn't like Mm -hmm. um even just hearing you speak you mustn't blame yourself there are those mad people who will listen and be like then why didn't you leave you know what i mean i know we're trying to work on rehabilitating those ones to understand that you shouldn't shame victims of violence but um it was repeated was it a one-off or it was it was it was okay let's just say it was constant yeah yeah but um once you realize you're better than that once Mm -hmm. you vibrate higher than that once you see yourself from a different a higher dimension from that you realize it's not worth it no one deserves to go through such kind of things Mm -hmm. no matter what like first of all it's really really disrespectful and then it's painful it's humiliating it's it's a lot of negative it's a lot of negative baggage really yeah and especially when you're quiet about it and i was just telling you um what inspired me to even say this because sometimes you go through something and you're like i'll be quiet with it you know no one needs to know because there's a lot of stigma that comes. yeah 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 so uh there was this story the r kelly Docu series, yeah, yeah, that came out um, a yeah. while back, m- a month ago. Or it's something. still ongoing. Yes, it's yeah. still ongoing. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's very. He was it's a very chicks, yes. underage girls. He was it's taking advantage of them because he was a star. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's a very important discussion, and it's yeah. things that happen everywhere. Okay. It's things that happen everywhere. Once you feel like you're uh, you're in a certain place. So, what did you resonate with? What did you like vibe with what, from that? What I vibe with is Kelly. the fact that. Um, uh, women come out years later 20 years later 10 mm-hmm. years later 5 years later saying you know what I went this through happened. this and this and this with this and such and such a person and I felt it it cut deep I mean it hit yeah, me deep close to yeah I was like why would I need to be quiet about this and then come out like a year later or 2 years later or 10 years or 20 years later and say you know what there was this kind of situation that I also went through 
so i just felt let me just say it now mm-hmm. you might not be going through it the next few people might not be going through it but let me just say it now so that so that it's open so that it's out there so that so that i free myself of it yeah and freedom with freedom comes power yeah yeah power to even speak how i'm speaking right now like with no fear i'm just saying the truth i'm not trying to attack anyone or you know i'm not even trying to fight anyone i'm just speaking my truth yeah, yeah. and 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 it's a truth that has gotten you very many threats <laughs> which is 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 very strange but we're going to be jumping into that phase we have kashi in studio with us we have kashi in studio she is back what's up what's and up? she has a new song out it's always so great when we have um another female rapper because i feel like we don't have enough all right yeah. <laughs> so the more the merrier mm-hmm. and we're going to get to her new song in a bit but of course um you just set Instagram on fire with your Insta stories. <laughs> and so there was one that, you know, obviously we've dealt with um, the violence bit of things that you spoke about. You also spoke about sponsors mm-hmm. in one of the, um, on the Insta stories. And was it that Calligraph had sponsors while you were in, in, in a relationship or? Did you have sponsors? <laughs> I never did. Okay. I never did. But this is a story that's being pushed mm-hmm. that I did. Oh, I didn't, you mm-hmm. know, it wasn't me because um, after I left the situation, yeah. after I left the entire thing, there was a lot of stories being put out there about me. Mm-hmm. Very untrue stories, very unfair stories, rumors, gossip stories, you know, and I was, I remained untriggered. Yeah. I remained grounded because they were all lies. Yeah. And when you're at peace with yourself and you know anyway, this is not true, you don't have to react violently, yeah. especially you don't have to put things out there so um someone came up with a song trying to it was just basically all slander trying to make me look bad trying to say this and this you know and the blogs picked that up and said yeah yeah this and this was happening but that's all false so was it Kaligov who came up with a song yeah 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 he did and it was a lot of like just alligate like yes yes just trying to malicious stuff about yes, you yes just a lot of malicious things about me yeah but uh, they're all so untrue and very unnecessary you know yeah very very unnecessary um, this is a story that would have gone so quietly if that didn't happen because everybody you know? e- yeah well, has you break, break up with break people yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you do you leave people and you move on and it doesn't have to be. Um, bitter to the extent where you're releasing a song trying to you know tarnish the other person's image and Mm -hmm. say nasty things about the other person it doesn't i would never have gone that route i would never have taken that route so uh just to clear the air yeah i was i'm just clearing my name clearing Mm -hmm. all this baggage getting it off my back you know because it's not something i want to carry next year Two years from now, five years from now, thirty years later, T C G Kashi Nini no, yeah. no. I want to clear it right now. It was not me, it was the other party. So he had sponsors. He was getting financial um support. Aid. Support. financial aid. <laughs> 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 it's not an NGO. That's, not <laughs> that's, that's IMF talk. IMF Kenya <laughs> gets aid. Yeah. Yes. He was getting support. financial <laughs> aid. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. From um various sources. Various sources, yeah. Female various sources. sources. Yes, yes. So it was from it was from older women while the yes, re- definitely yeah, and that I found I found out about that and that was one of the reasons why I was like I can't you know what, let's just Mimi I respected you but seeing this you know because tradition is it traditionally or like now what's happening is women or girls or you look for support yeah financially you know tengen is a kucha you yeah. know, get your hair done nini nini ni, travel to coast yeah <laughs> you know a picture up on instagram but then when and it's also not right you know just work hard for your things girls but when it gets to a point where you're committed to someone and you find out your someone is getting you know like financial yeah. aid uh, <laughs> was it a one time thing or it's, you found out no. that this was a trend i found out that it was a trend but i found out much later and that, that's when i was just like so how did you find out? Like, what did you? Keep, as in what? What was the up. like the telltale sign? Like what oh, is that trigger? Let us know. Let's not, let's, let's okay. not get into okay. that. Okay. Yeah. But one thing is, really, your biggest um, problem was the fact that mm-hmm. someone was getting tubes to get. You know, it's a very months. different dynamic it's, it's, to yeah, cheating. It's very, 
That is the, no, no, no. There's cheating, and then there's that. Mm-hmm. Um, and wow. so, and the threats. It's all just so it was all. It was just messy. If it, okay, maybe. But you see, um, uh, l- l- let me put myself in uh, OG's shoes. Eh? Also, I came up with the term. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, just you came see, up with the term. I did. The I OG. did. Yeah. Respect the OGs. That's me. So, what time kiva is such such shots? Nen. Such pants are more on the stage, you know, that's me. Lizarko. My work. Kaya wow, kaya kudos to you, man. Next yeah, time, thanks, you, have, you have to pattern everything. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter whether you're in love I or know, not. Man, I know, man, yes. I know. Anyway, <laughs> I know my point better. is this, my point mm-hmm. is this, yeah. So, if I was a dude, and then I find, uh, you know, a, a lady who wants to give me money to open a studio, a lady who wants to give me money to, you know, upgrade my car, mm-hmm. and I'm in a relationship, yeah, I will take it. <laughs> okay. But I come tell you, I'm like, you guys, no. what do you think, guys? No, I'm, no, no, I'm just, I'm a, it's a no. question I'm asking. A lot of you guys will take it. Can you make sort of sound of any? Wait, you go to like, come on, as long as you keep it, I could get tattoo. Mm. You know, there's some things I can't do. I can't do the things like, like, you know, like, campo chicks they take for uh, making their hair, their yeah, nails. Yeah. Oh, still, if, if there are dudes out there who are getting money from women to go to the barber shop, yeah. <laughs> bro. Now, that's some, that's some lame ass stuff. But now, let me ask you mm-hmm. the, 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 um, this is just shocking for my heart. The the threats for your heart. Yeah, <laughs> so so much on a on, on a morning. Um, mm-hmm. The threats that you're getting. Did the threats happen after the breakup or now that you started talking? And who exactly is threatening you? And what are they saying? Uh, let me not get into de- detail about that because. Yeah. Whatever is happening is um, a bit intense, and I've reported mm. it. Yeah, mm. and I'd like to just say that I've reported it. So, um, it's it's just not fair. It, it's not it's not fair to try intimidate someone because uh, you know you've come with your truth, especially after after you've been so quiet for so long, and uh, that's been taken advantage of yeah. many times. Uh, people feel like they can walk all over you because you're quiet because mm. they feel like you'll never say the truth about this and this and this. And when you try. You know, yeah. You, and also the fact that there's a wider platform um, for yeah, it's a free world where side, you can yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a wider platform from the side that yeah. Uh, and my okay, voice, you know. my voice is like not so loud. People feel like they can shout out over my voice mm. using different stories. You know, using um, this maybe this song. You know, trying to intimidate me like you can just shout over my voice, Nikwe. You know, like yeah. squeaky, like just compressed somewhere. Mm. You just, you know, but uh, it can't happen because now I'm not scared. I feel with everything that I've gone through, I've healed through it, and I've I feel more powerful. Mm. I feel more empowered to even talk to other people and uh, without fear. Because at this point, people have said a lot about me. And uh, there was a point there where it hurt. Yeah. The point it got uh, like painful. Like, what's this, uh, Like, why are you saying this? You don't even know me. I was there for a lot of years, uh, many years. Yeah. You just see this thing from the outside. You know, another flashy thing on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you think you know someone. No, you don't. I was there. So with that knowledge, with that, with that mentality, I feel like people, people can be ignorant and uh, arrogant at the same time. People, you come attack me, say this. You don't know anything. You so, don't know the story. Yeah. So it doesn't affect me. Doesn't phase me at this point. No. So I'll just speak my truth. You know. Yeah. Um, I feel like we need to recover. <laughs> you need heart. like a minute. <laughs> um, so we're definitely. I was gonna play the new song, but can we yes, just yes, listen yes. to the news first? Night for Kashi, and then let <laughs> Kashi introduce herself via her new song for us right here on Kiss FM. Yeah. Well, I'll see. And, the, and and I saw the music video is lo- like it's looking fire. So fire, oh, so so fire. I saw, I saw the pictures. snippet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I saw the snippet mm-hmm. from your your mm-hmm. IG page. Mm-hmm. Um, and then on top of that, because then I was doing a bit of stalking, I have to obviously <laughs> say congratulations <laughs> to you um, on graduating. Thank you. So w- you graduated from what course? Finance. Finance. Yeah. That was last. Yeah, towards the end of last year. Deck. Deck. Yeah. Okay. Twenty second of December. Okay, mm-hmm. and th- from which uni? UN. Uh, yes. yes. Okay, yes. big shout out. The only people who do graduations in debt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, really? UN. Yeah. Huh? 
Yes. And, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yes. And then also that's congratulations. A, that's the same time um, uh, uh, Ruto got his PhD, the DP. Yeah. He's yes. trending today for other things. Deal. <laughs> but um, and, and, and another congratulations to your your baby. You have oh, yes. a five, you said five months old. He turned five son. months. Uh, last last week, last nice. oh wow, yeah, it's called Zolani. Zolani, yeah, I like that. Uh, so there's some African. What does Zolani mean? It means peace. So, peace yeah. uh, it's a South African you know, thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All the way mm-hmm. means peace. Okay, because I because I, then I think because people didn't know the timelines. When the story came out that you cheated, then oh, the yeah? next story that came out was, was that you're pregnant. pregnant. Oh, yeah. So then people shikanishad. They assume oh, yeah. everything. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, and the, no. wait, there was, a, there was a, like a two year difference mm. yeah. with everything. Because yeah. hey. they dropped uh, Mikasa in 2016, November. Mm-hmm. So there's uh, yeah, the whole of 2017, 2018. In yeah. between, and they, mm-hmm. they separated in 2017. Yeah, so definitely yeah, yeah. he's not the father. <laughs> uh, let's not talk about my baby because okay, you know yeah, children you. are so sensitive. Yes. Yeah. And then, but, you know, just we, I wouldn't like to bring my son or anyone's kid you know into the line into, into, into ah. drama exactly. respect, 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 mm. respect but i think what i wanted to know is um because there are very many unfortunately if you look at the data very mm. many women recover from different forms of abuse yeah right mm-hmm. um i mean or have experienced some sort of toxicity yeah getting back up on your feet mm. to the point where you know you've graduated you have your newborn mm-hmm. what's the one thing that is it was important for you to have while going through that uh, the recovery the, the healing recovery, yeah uh, first of all I have very a very very supportive family mm-hmm. I have my mom my dad they're very supportive like yeah. crazy supportive on another level supportive mm-hmm. So I, I appreciate them so much. Also, I have my friends who, you know, checked up on me every day. As much as people were saying, you know, there was ev- every day there was a new blog. Cashy yeah. this, cashy that, cashy this. You know, I had my friends who would tell me, don't even, don't bother with these things, you know. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. it got to a point where I didn't bother with them anymore because I knew I, I know I had real ones on my side. Mm. Like, for real, the people who matter know the truth. Everyone else is just out here for gossip, yeah? yeah. And then I had, um, I had... Prayer was very important for me. Mm-hmm. I prayed a lot. I meditated a lot. So when yeah. I talk about being Zen, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I meditated yeah. so so much. Like I had to, you know, cleanse my chakras. Yeah, <laughs> all that vibe, like the entire thing, and grow myself a day at a time. Yeah, you know, grow my and tell myself, you know what, this is just not the end of you. Like, what is you're just turning 25? I mean. You know, there's, there's a, a whole, whole life. life ahead. You know, you just have to build yourself, not just for me, but for the generations that come after me. I have younger brothers. I have younger sisters. Mm. I have a son now. Yeah. You know, I have to be a role model. I have to show them I am powerful. You can be powerful too. I have to show them don't mistreat women. Yeah. Me, like, you know, why? I have to lead them correctly so that at a, if they have makosa, it's not because of me that I didn't you I have tried. to do my part yeah you know I have to do my part as an elder sister cousin you know um, I know there's some people on Instagram who are much younger than me and they send me really encouraging messages on my DM even before this whole story came out oh, and bless them. yeah yeah bless them so yeah. much and I look at that and I'm just like wow okay uh, if I'm not doing this for myself, let me at least do that for that one person you know there might be a million um, haters but then they'll be like those yeah. Ten people who just just like yeah, cash, what? Yeah. And those that that's you. that's what matters to me. Yeah. yeah. Um wow. and I know uh, there's some tweets coming in. People are wondering if you are still in contact with Calligraph. Do you guys speak? Because he did an interview over the weekend <laughs> and he said he doesn't know you, which I was like, please you have a song together. You know what yeah. I mean? Um that was you guys funny. still speak? <laughs> that was actually very very funny. <laughs> I had a, like someone uh, ma- made a meme about it and I laughed. Yeah. Like last night I just really, really laughed. Um, I think I even posted it on my Instagram. Yeah. Uh, beautiful Miss Cashy, but that was funny. Yeah. Um, are we still in contact? He tries to reach out. You know, me, I cut connections. I Once you're out, you're out. Don't ever be pulled back to what broke you. Mm-hmm. Don't ever be pulled back to anything that you know is not going to end well. Yeah. Don't, just don't. You know, just don't go back to 
such things just move on and kwanza now that it's better it's brighter it's bigger out here you know i know myself better i'm smarter mm-hmm. i'm stronger why why do i need to mm-hmm. yeah all right and does he get in contact to try and get back together to apologize <laughs> huh. uh, it's crazy it's it's crazy. Let's just say it's crazy. It's yeah, crazy. yeah. So it's none of those. No, no, no. I, I, I know what she's yeah. saying. Mm. Yes. Okay. All right. Kuna ole ana bado ana kimbiza mungine. To make to prove a point. Yeah. To show that you know when I'm still making it. Kuna moja na try ku kimbiza mungine and also not in the very best of ways mm. because um I'll just say this. I'll just put it out there. Do because also also I'm tired of of just all this baggage mm. you because i had a child because i studied because you know i am doing my thing i'm not trying to prove a point to anyone you do your thing as well you uh, i have no business about you having a child so that is not a threat to me mm-hmm. you know do you like be happy but don't do it to show me that even me me mm. uh, it doesn't oh, but i'm told you mean that i'm me sasa it doesn't sasa. you know is is me compare kwa watoto so kwa mimi ngine pia hata baro mimi the children are so, so expensive <laughs> but also not even even about the cost <laughs> of having no, a like child no like you can't just but jump <laughs> over cliffs <laughs> without it's thinking just, <clears throat> it's just um children are their people mm-hmm. so you have to be mentally prepared and you have to have have the heart for it not just for the sake of doing it to show people that you even you no 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 like ju- anyway you know kill on to na maisha yake choices ni zako like but at the end of the day don't do it to spite people and i'm not just talking to a particular person i'm just talking to everyone in general yeah. just do you for you not so so and so can see so that the public can see so that to see back in you most yeah yeah run your own race yeah. at your own pace exactly. okay so we're going to check out whether the music video is up your youtube channel please madam miss cashy yes. ms cashy all right and uh, we expect the next song when because we don't silence now Aye, please Maza, consistency, collabs, consistency. Yeah. and this is something that uh a lot of us as girls in yeah. the music industry we get derailed a lot tunanyamaza we have like major gaps yeah video you we can't look sexy for the whole world you can't yeah. you can't talk to shafi yeah. in fact me kona the reason as to why kenyan uh, females uh, are not making it <laughs> is because <laughs> their boyfriends are afraid Stop. they might Shalom. come to this studio <laughs> And then their relationship so will be over. Well. <laughs> so no, but well. she has a good point. She has a good point to all yeah. the female uh, mm-hmm. artists out so there. So the next song Let's when Changamke. Um I have a really dope song coming up soon and it's going to be a bit controversial. Yeah. Controversial or something. I love Kimeru. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah, Kimeru. Yeah, yeah. I love the Kimeru beat, Thank man. Thank you. Thank you. Shout yeah, out to my so people. Legit. I didn't shout you out on Mika, so now I have to, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Americans. Eh. Yeah. So, so I'm going to go and rewatch. I mean, watch, watch the video, the video the and re-listen to the song because of I course, feel like there's something. There's a lot of stories in there. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, it's about me. It's yeah. about me, Nimerudi, and I'm doing this just for me because mm-hmm. it was a dream I had since way back. And now I'm back to my dream. Eh? Yeah, I'm back, back to, to my and I'm feeling. I'm yeah. feeling it. I'm feeling the yeah. vibe. Eh? I'm excited about it and I just want people to realize that I have a name. Mm-hmm. So at msinite sidri nani wanani wa nini nini 20 sidri when no call me kashi. Yeah, it is. Utaitwa una to kashi lakini Apana apana itaisha. Unajua by that before before you make something, before you make a revolution, kama tu venye hii referendum, people are making noise because you have to have a change and a change you have to get pissed off for a change to happen. Mm. Yes. You know, so Nita you have to you have to yes so ningenya but i'm just making a statement you know so if i win i win with my name if i fail you know fail with i fail name. with my name you yes. know naitwa kashi that's, oh. that's just it 